Hi there, my name's Bruce Rain from Breakers Creations. I talk a lot about flux on my YouTube channel. The different types of flux, the importance of flux, which fluxes I recommend and which ones to steer clear from. The main flux I like to use is this, the Amtec NC559 V2TF. I've been buying it for years and I've been recommending it for years. I first heard about it from Lewis Rossman. I usually buy the 10cc tubes because I find them more manageable than the 30cc tubes, but I buy three tubes at once. When I open the last tube, I buy three more, which allows enough time for the delivery from the US to Australia before the last tube runs out. About a month ago, I ordered three 10cc tubes through Amazon, as I have done many times before, and they arrived within a couple of weeks. Anyhow, about a week ago, my previous tube ran out, so I grabbed one from the new shipment. To my surprise, it looked different. It was a much darker colour, like honey, unlike the lighter, creamier colour I was used to. I also noticed that it smelled different. The flux I was used to has quite a pleasant, almost sweet smell, whereas this one was more of a chemical smell. It actually reminded me of another flux I use, which is made by Interflux. But the one really telling difference with this new Amtec flux was that it didn't glow under UV light. This is a feature I regularly demonstrate in my live streams, and it was the definitive proof that this new product was different. So naturally, I contacted Amtec about this shipment. Hi there, I purchased three 10cc tubes of Amtec NC599 V2TF last month. I opened the first of these after my last tube ran out, and this new flux doesn't seem right. It's darker than the normal Amtec flux, it smells different, and it doesn't glow under UV light. Can you please advise what has happened here? It would appear that someone has sold me a non-genuine or counterfeit product. I got a pretty speedy reply from Amtec and it reads as follows. Greetings. Only ASM and RMA Amtec fluxes would glow in UV. Also, ASM is an odorless formulation while V2 has a pine scent. What you got before was ASM labelled as V2. ASM is a bit more viscous compared to V2 and a bit harder to clean compared to V2 as it was designed for industrial cleaning with ultrasonic and V2 is a pure handcraft flux to clean with anything. ASM is universal for leaded and lead free while the V2 is a hand soldering flux for tin lead, not universal, not for lead free, only for leaded alloys. Please see the video customers happily noticing the difference. And no, we won't. Our label should glow in UV, it should show 100% genuine in UV. If you would like to use ASM instead, we can replace the V2 with ASM. Please see attached the comparison table to review blah 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 get back and blah 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 thank you. I must confess I was a little annoyed at this response. It kind of felt like they were calling me a liar. I've only ever bought genuine Amtec and they're telling me I've been using ASM all along with the wrong label? So I wrote back, Hi there, I've been using Amtec Flux for many years now. I have always ordered NC559 V2TF. What I received this time was the same product code, but is very different to what I've received in the past. I would like to have the same product that I've always received. I don't really understand the ASM comment in your message. I just want the same Flux as I've had before. And another reply. Hello, there are two products sharing 559 base. NC559 ASM TF and 559 V2 TF, in short, ASM and V2. What you mentioned, optical tracer, odorless, lighter colour, are the traits of the Amtec NC559 ASM TF. Original V2 would not have any optical tracer and will not glow in UV. It appears Amtec Distribution LLC have not sold to you in the past. If you have pictures and invoices from the past, we could help you determine. So now I start to wonder, maybe I haven't been buying from Amtec. I go and grab the old tube and have a look. I also contact my good friends Jay from the House of Moth and Steve from Mac84 as we all use the same flux. And on the label of all our fluxes, we notice this, Inventec Performance Chemicals USA LLC and a URL, inventecusa.com. So as I understand it, I've been using genuine Amtec flux I've just been using the ASM product in a tube with a V2 label. So why would they do that? Thankfully, I got a little bit more insight from the Amtec people. 
The V2 has been a great flux but also a challenge to make. There are a number of components including hydrobromic acid, which are not only difficult to source in modern times, but also posing danger in flux manufacturing. In addition, V2 may become sandy or crystallise, may continue outgassing inside the syringe, developing tiny bubbles or small whitish lumps that annoyingly clog the tip. ASM, however, has been a more stable material, consistent from batch to batch, universal and UV traceable. In 2018, Inventec condemned V2 formula based on production challenges, but didn't stop cashing out on good old V2 fame, simply labeling ASM as V2. We split ways with Inventec and reorganized into a holding with a brand new production facility operated by the original Amtec talent carrying genuine Amtec DNA. We stabilized V2 manufacturing with less harmful modern acid, a one-to-one -one replacement to HBR in the same CAS. We gave the label a fresh 3D look and protections visible in UV, an American flag to differ from Chinese and French lineage, but also out of patriotism. Amtec is one of those stellar products making USA solar chemicals ahead of the competition, and we've been on the mission to place that star-spangled banner on every soldering bench worldwide. You are correct. The listing you provided has been used to sell in Ventex ASM labelled as V2. We were able to take over the listing, but not in full. It has been squatted in EU by DK Tools based on a technicality. They sell tools under Amtec brand in EU. So there you have it. Inventec have been dishing out the ASM with a V2 label because it's easier to make. All this time, I've been recommending the NC559V2TF, but have actually been using NC559ASMTF with a V2 label on it. If all that seems way too confusing, the summary is this. I used to recommend Amtec NC559V2TF. The flux I now recommend is the NC559ASMTF. The V2 is fine, but I do prefer the ASM. So now I have to go and change all my affiliate links on all my videos to point to the right thing. Great. See you next time.